NuGet is the official package manager for .NET. Think about it as App Store for your code, where you can easily search, install, and use any package. A package is simply a compiled code with descriptive metadata. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own package and to contribute to the .NET community by publishing it to NuGet.org. So let's jump into the code. I created here a console application, a very empty console application, and I'm going to start by creating a class library that I'm going to publish later on. So let's create a new project. It will be a class library, and I'm going to call it dwook.math.calc. So I need to create a calculator. I'm using company.product.feature naming convention. So let's create. This is my package. Let's rename the class to calculator. And inside calculator, I'm going to implement it in a simple way, something like this. And now, since our code is being done, at least for this video, the second part of a NuGet package is our descriptive metadata. So let's go to the CS project file. And let's start by adding few tags that are going to be used by NuGet to describe our package. The first tag that I need to add is the package ID. The package ID is a unique identifier for your package. It should be unique across all NuGet.org. A very common convention is to use company.product.feature, the same way that I used to create this project here. So book math.calc. The second tag that I'm going to add is the version. Version use the cementing versioning number, which is major.minor.patch, where major, it's a new release, but contain a breaking change. Minor, it's new feature added, but with backward compatible. Patches is basically when you do some bug fixes. You can also add a suffix, so you can display the build number. Next is the author. The author is the publishing entity for your package. It could be your company or your name. Basically, I'm publishing the package as individual, so I'm going to put my name in here. Next is the product. The product is your pretty name, the package pretty name. I'm gonna name it calculator. We can add a description. This is a cool calculator. We can also add a license. So basically a license is a way for me to grant user access to use or to contribute to my NuGet package. I can specify the project URL. So I'm going to put my website in here. I can also add a very descriptive readme file and an icon. So let's do that. A readme file, an icon, so icon.png. And we can also specify some tags. So calculator, math. Tags should be separated by semicolon. Let me add the files, readme file and the icon. This is a readme file. It's very big for you, but you can see it. And let me add an icon as well. This is the icon, very cool calculator here. When adding a file, like an icon and a readme file, we need to specify for the, this package to include it with the package. So to do that, we need to create a new item group, none include the file, true for pack, and the path for it. Let's do another one for readme.md5. And that's it. That is enough. Now let's build. And now there is multiple way to publish our NuGet package. We can use our IDE to pack and push. Like in Rider, there is advanced build actions and you can pack. And you can use also the CLI to pack your package. And that's what I'm going to do here. So in my terminal, I can go to the folder and here I can pack the package. So using .NET pack. 
.NET pack by default will use the release and you should pack your packages as a release configuration and it created the NUCKIC file. If you check the bin folder release, there is a file here that we can use to publish into NuGet. So let me go to NuGet.org. I'm already logged in with my account. If we click on upload, we can upload the NUCKIC file here, the one that we already generated from our terminal. So let me drag that file and put it here. A few seconds, it will open the verify section here and we can verify our info. So the package ID, the version, the owner, what license are we using, dependencies to see what dependencies that we are using in our package, the description, release note of if added. So we didn't specify any release note, we added a project URL and this is the icon with author tags for later in the search. And we can see the readme file that we already created as well. We can submit the package from here, but I'm going to show you how to submit the package from the CLI as well. First, go to API keys and generate a new API key. This is a secret. You shouldn't share it with anyone. So I already created one and go to the terminal and now we can do something like this, .NET NuGet push. We need to specify the file. So it is in bin release. This is the package. Let's resize a bit. The second one is to specify the source. The source is your NuGet server. You can have multiple NuGet server. You can have NuGet.org, you can have a file local system, or you can have your own private organization NuGet server that you are using. Here you need to specify the URL for it. So in our case is NuGet.org and we need to add also the API key that we added. So dash key for the key. And now our package has been pushed. Let's go and check on it. You can see it in the manage package here. And this is our package. It's still not been published. Here, NuGet will run few checks to validate the package that we uploaded. Once that is completed within minutes to an hour, we'll get an email and it will be published and it will be used for public. So let's wait few minutes for it to complete. On a side note, when using the .NET CLI to package and push your NuGet package, you can automate that flow inside your CI/CD pipeline to actually push each time you create a new version, you can push it through your, your pipeline. And a very helpful way to update your version is by overriding the version that you are specifying in the CS project here. So we can push version 1.1. 1.0.1 and .NET pack will generate this NUPCAC file with the new version. So you can override the attributes from your CS project in your .NET pack here using the backslash p command. And now our package has been published. So we can search for it here. We can see who is the owner, the name, tags, the description, and we can use it as well. You can see the framework that we are using, the readme file, the versions, and it is now listed. So let's go back to our code. And in our client project, let's manage NuGet packages and install our package. So we got hit. So in info, we have, this is a cool calculator. This is a description, the links that we added, the project site, NuGet.org link, and the tags the author when it was published. So multiple versions, once you push new version, it will be shown here. Let's add, let's install it, installed. So now we can create a new calculator. So var calculator equal new calculator. And we can use it basically. And that's it for me, guys. This is how you can push new get packages to newget.org. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and you can check my other videos over here and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.